So what about opt-ins and lead magnets? It's a very common um, marketing tactic where you, someone comes to your website, maybe you have a pop-up or no pop-up, but say, sign up here to get this special video series or a special tool or special, you know, um, something, something or other. Um, I don't like doing that because it tends, I have of course done that in the past and it builds an audience that's not, that's not very good audience. And therefore I end up spending money sending emails to that audience with a quite a low open rate. So instead of uh, a lead magnet or email opt-in bribe or freebie, I now have very, um, I, I have, I have a very uh, transparent opt-in process where they come to my website. There's a newsletter uh, button at the top that they can click on if they want to, and they click on it. It's like, Hey, um, do you want to get my best content, uh, you know, sent to you via email? And if they already are predisposed to following my content, which faith they probably are with you, uh, I'm talking to faith right now with this question, because they're following you on Instagram or they're seeing your videos on Facebook or, or wherever, um, they're already, they, they, the reason they go to your site is because they, they like what you're up to. They like what you're about. And so they probably are interested in signing up just to hear from you on a regular basis. There doesn't need to be any opt-in or, or because the problem with the, with, the, with the lead magnet is that a lot of people, they get incentivized. Think about you know, the, the psychology of it. Oh, that video series sounds really good. Okay, they sign up for the video series, but they are less interested in ongoing emails from you. No, I want people who sign up with me to want the ongoing emails from, you, from me. This is why my open rate is so high. My open rate for a four, almost 5,000 person email list, five, almost 5,000 email subscribers, my open rate is 45%. That's almost unheard of. Okay, first of all, industry average is 20 to 25%. That's, it. that's my industry, industry average 20 to 25%. And then as you get into thousands of subscribers, that starts to drop even lower. I have almost doubled my industry average at, at almost 5,000 subscribers, really high. That's because I built my list the correct way, which is, I think the correct way, which is to not have a, not have a bribe, no lead magnet, they opt in because they like me, because they want to hear from me on a regular basis. And that's true of you too, Faith. You're likable, that people want to see your stuff. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Okay. So um, now you might say, well, George, is there, uh, do you have any tips for even faster way of building an email list? Yes. I'll give this to you. Do a free to attend paid recording webinar. I call it FTA webinar, free to attend webinar. It's free to attend. The recording is not free. The recording you turn into a product. It doesn't have to be an expensive product, anywhere between you know, $7 to $70, right? My, my, my free to attend webinars, I bundle two of them together and I charge 75 for it. And people actually pay it, right? People pay for it afterwards, over time, people pay for it. Um, my webinars are you know, quite, uh, my webinars are, um, basically uh, three hours each. So it's like six hours of material for 75 bucks. You know, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's okay deal. Um, but you don't have, you could charge anywhere between seven and 75 for it. Seven, seven and 77 for it, let's say. But the, so the webinar itself is valuable enough for you to charge for it, you see. So uh, people love, love signing up for things that are like, oh my gosh, I can get it for free or I can buy it later for X dollars. Why not? I, even if people can afford, you know, twenty five dollars later, they would still rather get twenty five dollars off by attending for free. So what happens now is they've now attended your webinar for free. They have engaged with you. A webinar is highly obviously they see you. They you know it's a it's a live video essentially where you can answer some questions, and automatically at that point, I don't even ask people now. This is against GDPR rules, I have to say. So those of you who are mostly European or have GDPR rules, um, you have to ask them an additional question. May I include you as part of my regular newsletter? You have to ask them to, to check that box, right? I am a GDPR known outlaw <laughs> in GDPR because I think I'm authentic and I don't spam anybody. And the evidence of my open rate shows that. My unsubscribe rate is very low, my open rate is very high. 
So I do it the right way and I don't, I don't care about GDPR. So I automatically add, I automatically add all of my webinar subscribe, what, webinar registrant, even if they didn't attend, even if they did not attend, I still include them in my monthly email. So let's, let's be really clear here. What am I automatically subscribing them to? Once a month, best content email. And you, you can see what that email looks like if uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, right now on my screen what that content looks like. So this is what they get. Um, I, I, have a, I have samples uh, on my website, georgecow.com slash monthly. So this is literally what they would get. Um, my best post of the past month. No, no frills, no, nothing fancy. And this is, this is getting a 45% open rate with an extremely high click rate. It's somewhere between seven and 10% click rate, which is uh, the average industry average click rate is 2%, meaning people clicking on links. I get about seven to 10%, which is really high. And it, like I said, 45% open rate on regularly, ongoingly. So look at this. So my best post, very simple. I, I've already written these things. These things are my previous you know, blog posts. I'm just giving them links to it, you know? So, and if you look, that, that's April. March looks exactly the same, right? April and March, it looks exactly the same. It's just different posts, right? Different posts. So this is a successful newsletter model. There's no lead magnet. There's no opt-in. It's just transparent. You get my best stuff once a month. That's what the free webinar registrants get automatically after that. So that's a, that's a quick way of uh, building your list. Besides, you can also run ads to your warm audience on Instagram and Facebook and say, hey, do you want to get my best content once a month via email? Go here. And then they, you know, they show up there. So let me know if that helps. Yeah, so two follow-up questions from Faith. One is she's concerned that she hasn't been writing you know, long form articles. And so is the email newsletter worth, worth, you know, sending? No, absolutely. You should still do it. So for example, uh, you can simply give people links to your, your best IG reels of the, of the month, you know, you know, or your best, your best posts of the month. You could just give people like, like, Hey, here, here, here are the favorite ones from my audience for the past month. And then you could just give them links to it. You know, this one is about, you know, self-care and this one is about, how to use you know, oils or whatever, you know, essential oils, et cetera. So that's, that's that. And then the second question was, um, do email newsletters actually, do people actually end up buying things? 100%. Uh, um, it's, well, it's, it's well known, at least in my marketing space, um, that email newsletters had the highest conversion rate compared to social media audiences or website, random website audiences. So, you know, email newsletters at the highest. And why is that? Well, it's not surprising. I mean, social media, you know, it's easy for someone to click follow and then occasionally see your stuff. And then when they're on social media, you know, they're not looking to buy stuff, you know, they're just, and so the conversion rates are relatively low on social media, but it's okay because social media has a very scalable audience. So even if it's a low conversion rate, it's still obviously worth, very much worth building. And social media, they might join your email list at some point. Um, but email list means they had to like go through the, the trouble of like, yes, I want to receive your emails. And they had to go through the trouble of opening the email of all the emails they could read, right? They had, they opened your email. And then secondly, they probably scroll down to the bottom. So you, if you'll notice in my email newsletters, all of my things, I, I first give them free content. There's nothing for sale here, nothing for sale here, nothing for sale here. Nothing for sale here. Ah, this is for sale. So I always put my things for sale at the bottom of my email. And that's partly why my conversion rates are uh, high because the people who, and, and, and this is why my open, sorry, this is why my open rate is so high because my audience feels that I respect them. They know when they open the email, they're not going to get a sales message right away. And I, I just hate people. And it's like, I, I don't understand. Okay. This is also for podcasts. Podcast listeners, please sell to us at the end of the podcast, not at the beginning. It's so freaking annoying. You sell it because now, now we know we just skip the first minute or five or in, you know, in, in certain cases, right? It's like, okay, we know you're going to go on 10 minutes of sales messages, skip, skip. And it's just so disrespectful, you know? And then it's like at the end, it's a, but at the end, as someone who listens to the end of a podcast, I want to hear 
what do you want to sell me? No, they, thank you for giving me the money. Same thing with emails. They, they've scrolled to the bottom. Oh, I want to see what George is selling. And I'm sure some people open it just to see what I'm selling. They have this scroll to the bottom. So yes, I make most, when I, when I ask people why they bought from me uh, and they say, I give them a chance. Oh, is it, is it Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, you know, YouTube, blah, 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 blah. And most of them, I mean, more than 50% of the time, they say email newsletter is, is really where they, where, they, where they did it. So absolutely all of us should uh, gradually you know, start to grow our email lists. So hope that helps.